Welcome to the first part of the email automation series, where we discuss building email automation using Crew AI, Langchain, and Langgraph. We aim to develop an automation that checks your inbox regularly for new emails, waits a few minutes if none are found, and answers emails based on the complete thread history in your tone and voice, subsequently saving them in Gmail as drafts. Honestly, while there are numerous YouTube videos on letting AI answer your emails, I've remained skeptical. None of the solutions I've come across so far have been able to regularly check the mailbox or craft an email that both sounds like me, accurately answers the question, and is ready as a draft in Gmail. Let's do it today. In this initial segment, we'll focus on setting up the AI agent tasked with filtering out emails that need responses from those that do not, such as newsletters or notifications. To accomplish this, we will link our agent with Gmail. In the next step, our email action specialist carefully reviews the whole email conversation to pull out the main ideas, key details, and how people are talking. It even looks up information online if needed to gather everything required to draft an email. The email response writer crafts personalized replies to emails, using the information provided by the email action specialist to address the original message's concerns and questions effectively. You'll learn how to assemble AI agents that collaborate to answer your emails, connect to services like the Gmail API, and craft high-quality prompts. Additionally, you can get access to the source code, saving you hours in drafting email responses in the future. We'll build this from scratch, with each step explained in simple terms. If you're aiming to become an expert in Crew AI and autonomous agents, take advantage of our complete catalog available for a one-week free trial at AIfordevs.com. But without further delay, let's dive into coding. As usual, we begin by setting up a virtual environment to isolate the dependencies. Then we're installing the Google API Python client, Langchain, Langchain OpenAI, and Crew AI. Let's create a file app.py. We'll start by first considering the individual steps involved. First, we need an agent to filter the messages. Then, we proceed with a task that includes specific instructions. After this, we aim to assemble the crew, and finally, we want to start the process. Wondering how to filter out just the right emails? For the first step, we create a new file named agents.py and import agent from crew AI. We import the dedent function from TextWrap. A new class named Agents is set up, and I add pre prepared code for the email filter agent method. The code returns an instance of an agent with the role of senior email analyst, whose goal is to filter out non essential emails such as newsletters and promotional content. The agent's backstory highlights their extensive experience in email content analysis and their expertise in distinguishing important emails from spam and other irrelevant content using key patterns and markers. Let's switch back to our app.py to use this new functionality. Let's import the agents. We can set up our filter agent by calling the email filter agent method on agents. Once we have our agents, how do we direct them to the important emails? Let's find it out and create a file named tasks.py. We begin by importing task from Crew AI, and also we import dedent from TextWrap. We set up a class and add the pre prepared filter email task method. The method generates a task for an agent to sift through a collection of emails, separating vital communications from non essential ones like newsletters and promotions. It emphasizes the identification of emails directly intended for the user, requiring the agent to list relevant thread IDs and senders. We can now import this brand new tasks class into our app.py. Now let's set up our filter task by calling the email filter task method on tasks. This requires an agent as a parameter and as a second parameter, a list of emails. Of course, we need to retrieve these from Gmail, but how exactly do we do that? 
We start by creating a new file named Gmail service. We need various imports from the community to connect with Gmail. First, we must establish a connection for which we need credentials. We create the necessary Gmail credentials by using the get Gmail credentials function, specifying a token file, the required scopes for accessing Gmail, and a client secrets file. It then uses these credentials to build an API resource service with build resource service, enabling the application to interact with the user's Gmail account for operations like searching and processing emails. For this, we need to obtain the credentials. On the Langchain page, we find detailed instructions. It tells us to go to the Google website. And there is a link to Google Cloud where you can create new credentials. Here we can click on Create Credentials and on Create OAuth Client ID. We must select the Desktop App option, then enter the name. Upon completion, we will receive a JSON file available for download. It's important to note that we must activate the Gmail API on our Google account. Here too, you can find the link in the description. Click on the Enable button, and after that, you can use the Gmail API. With the free trial, you'll receive $300 in credit, which is sufficient for using the Gmail API. We can now copy the downloaded JSON file into the project directory and rename it to credentials.json. Now we can access Gmail from our script. We use the class Gmail search and pass the credentials. Now we can read all emails in the inbox we aim to compile a list of emails that includes essential information for the agent, such as the sender, content, and associated thread. For this, we iterate over the emails We store the email's ID and the thread ID to track the entire conversation, along with a snippet for a preview of the text, and finally, the sender's information. This approach provides ample context for the task. Now we can review the result. We start the script with Python Gmail Server PY and see that we still need to install a library. We do it quickly and try again. OK, a new browser window pops up. We are required to authenticate in the browser. I confirm that the script can access Gmail by allowing it. We can now close the browser window, and we see that we are authenticated and have a list of the two emails that I currently have in this inbox. To integrate this code into our app and forward the emails to the filter task, we need to encapsulate it within a fetch mails method and return the outcome. We can now go back to our app.py and import our new method here. Let's use the result of the fetch mails method as param for our filter email task. We can continue with the next step and assembly our crew. We initialize our new crew, pass our agent and our task, and start the process. Now we have everything together to try it out. Let's first see what is currently in the inbox. We received a message from an actual customer expressing interest in upgrading from a one-time purchase to a premium subscription, and an email from Google Workspace notifying us that the trial period is nearing its end. The goal is to filter only the customer's email because it should be automatically answered in the next step. Before we can start the script, we need to export the OpenAI API key so that it's used as an environment variable. Here, please enter your API key. I did that too, but edited it out. And then the process can also be started. We see how the crew gets to work. And it works like a charm. You see that the relevant thread ID is from the real customer and that the second email from Google Workspace must not be answered. Perfect. 
In the next segment, we'll automatically craft a response. Stay tuned. If you enjoyed this content and are eager for more, visit AIfordevs.com now. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified as soon as the next installment is released on YouTube.